Hi, thanks for stopping by. My name's Ashlyn, I'm 21, living in a camper. I thought it'd be fun to start this video by doing a little face mask. Well, I've been breaking out pretty bad, and honestly, it is because we have not been eating the healthiest. So I just have some of this ancient healing clay mask stuff that my friend Callie got for me. I'm just gonna put it all over my pimples. It is a Friday night and we are just vibing, hanging out, not doing anything too crazy because I have to be up super early tomorrow. I think that this mask stuff does a really good job of pulling the blackheads out and the acne. Honestly, we've been dealing with a lot of stress this week, so it's really nice to just be able to relax right now and enjoy our Friday night. If you watched last week's video, then you know that we were struggling, but honestly, the struggles are starting to clear and everything is starting to look look brighter. Here is what I'm left with. I am just gonna let this sit. Then I'm gonna go take a shower and make dinner. We have been experiencing extreme stress with the thought of leaving so soon. Even though we have had this idea planned for the last couple years, the fact that it is happening now in less than a month has us scrambling. I really wish I could say that we are enjoying our transition more, but life has been throwing us curveballs. One major curveball, I should say, due to the truck. I am trying to remain grateful and stay calm. I now understand why people don't just drop everything to travel full time. There is a lot of work, preparation, and money that goes into this lifestyle. We are trying our best to manage it all at such a young age. I'm just glad that we have enough resources to make it through this awkward transition. All right, for dinner tonight, we got two fat beer rocks, cracked green beans, and cheesy broccoli rice. It's looking good, isn't it, Runner? If you are wondering why we are so stressed, well, I will tell you. We have had our truck, which is a 2002 Chevy Duramax 2500 HD, in the shop so many times at this point. And granted, we got everything fixed on that truck. That truck is worth so much at this point. But we just got it out of the shop recently while I was filming this video, and then it went into limp mode again. So now today we have decided that we are going to rebuild the transmission before we leave, which we didn't think that we would have to do. So we got everything else fixed in the truck because we thought we would be able to save the transmission at least for another 40,000 miles. Well, the truck went into limp mode the other night while we were leaving the gym and we were stuck there for a couple hours because the truck would not go into reverse. When we finally did get the truck to reset, and go it took us an hour and a half to get home because we were going 15 miles an hour the whole way hello it is now like 7 p.m. I was able to get the dishes done today the laundry folded and I also took a really big nap things cooking dinner and we're just riding out this storm Honestly, one of our go-to meals from Aldi is just one of their good soup jars with some cooked meat in it. This is specifically the hearty vegetable soup in the jar from Aldi. I feel like I'm also in an awkward phase right now because everything is so transitional. We are getting ready to move. I am getting ready to sell my car. Things are happening. I have been feeling stressed about a lot of little things, so I feel like I've just been rotting in bed today, which is okay, because my brain and my body genuinely needed rest. My kitties are what keep me going through this, I swear, and my really yummy desserts that I get to eat every single night because every night I be eating, okay? I've been so stressed every day, so at this point, it's the little things that count. 
good morning it is sunday morning and i am about to go and instruct a workout class it is a 45 minute hot yoga school class i've got my coffee and i've already got my workout ready and written down so that i can have a great class and a great flow and i wanted to talk about how i am about to be leaving my job we are about to be leaving the state so there are just big changes just like looming over me in a positive way of course but any change can kind of feel anxious obviously my excitement outweighs my anxiety tenfold and also it really helps that we have our first three months pre-booked and paid for so like we're good to get out there all we have to really worry about is gas money which we've got especially when it comes to selling my car like we have all of that money to fall back on as well and i am going to clean out the inside of my car and take even better pictures i've got so many hits on it so i know that it will sell so all of these big anxiety things i'm just reminding myself that i don't have to be worried about anything everything is going to get worked out and handled it's just about working it out and handling it while this process is hard i am grateful that we're getting to document it and experience it. We have to embrace the anxiety and move past it in order to experience the greatness of what this experience is supposed to be. I am just in this waiting bubble, this incubator of time. Realistically, everything is about to be different, okay? I am just enjoying this journey day by day and trying to soak up whatever we have left here in our hometown. All right, ready for my class. This is the fit I'm wearing today. I've got my coffee instead of an energy drink because I don't want to be drinking energy drinks every day. But yeah, I'm going to go instruct my class and have a good class. Also, I wanted to say thank you guys for coming along on this journey with me. I am so stressed out, but it's really nice to have a community of support backing me up and just encouraging me, telling me that everything's going to be okay. And I hope you guys are enjoying my videos because during this time, it's been hard to do anything. We just got a severe weather warning of a tornado in our area for the next half hour and to take shelter. Um, I hope that everything's okay. I don't have like an overwhelming anxious feeling so I think everything will be okay. The clouds are looking a little green and it is raining but I trust that God has got us. Also, oh my gosh, I wanted to talk about something that really made me mad. Freaking Amazon Prime has been charging me when I canceled my Prime membership like a while ago. Like I canceled this thing back in December and then they charged me again for January. So then I called Amazon support and they refunded me for one of the months that they charged me for. And now today, like four months later, I get an Amazon Prime charge with no receipts as to why they're charging me $15.92. I don't have $15.92 to give to a random billion dollar corporation that I'm not even getting anything for. You guys better watch your freaking Amazon Prime statements because people are saying on the forums that they get charged for Amazon Prime and they've tried canceling it multiple times and that Amazon will take from cards that they didn't even give pre-authorization to. Like, I, when I called the Amazon lady, she literally just told me that there's nothing she can do because no charges are showing up on her end. What do you mean I get charged $15.92 an hour ago and you can't tell me why I'm getting charged that? Like why? I haven't put this card, this is a newer card. I have not put this card into anywhere else. So I went onto my phone, I canceled my card out of my Amazon account and I am not giving them access to my card. I hope that it doesn't happen again because people keep saying even after they canceled their cards, they're still getting charged. This shit is a scam. No wonder Amazon is a billion dollar corporation. I am hoping we don't get hit by a tornado right now. I am too young for this. We got too many plans for this to happen. Okay, y'all, I'm kind of getting scared. They're saying that it's only 12 miles away from where we're located. We might have to go get shelter. They said that the warning is only for like 20 more minutes. Now it's hailing. We really going through it today. Out of all things, the last thing that I expected to happen today was a tornado warning. What the heck? Now I am just praying, y'all. So, little update. We're okay. Everything's okay. I guess it was just a thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. And so it was a little 30 minute tornado warning. That was a little scary though. When this is your home and you get a tornado warning, 
Like, where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to take my kitty? I guess we would have to take him to the campground bathroom and shower house, but it's calming down. And now I guess it's just a rainy, vibey day today. That rainy vibe just came out of nowhere. Good evening. It's now like six o'clock and we don't have any meat in the freezer. So I don't really have any way to make dinner unless we want chicken nuggets and I am not feeling that tonight. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store and the butcher shop tomorrow, but as for tonight, we are going out to eat, baby. I'm sorry, I have to go bye-bye. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to go bye-bye. Mm, I'm sorry, I had to go bye-bye. Mm -hmm. We were just gonna order in, but you know, we could use a little date. We could use a little time just spending time with each other, paying attention to one another, loving one another. It'll be really nice to have that, especially considering how stressed I felt just during this transition. Zane says it's because I'm typically used to just having stressful transitions with anything, so when change is coming, even if it's positive, I'll be stressed out about it. And I was like, dang, that one hit deep. He said something like that anyway. But yeah, I'm gonna go eat some dinner. So we had to stop by the gas station for some brownie cookies because they were the best option that they looked like they had. They just look like a chocolate cookie with some chocolate chip chunks. Someone came to say hi. They have raw. Hello. Oh, you're so good. You did say hello. So smart. So smart, Mr. Runner. Say hi, my name's Coconut. I live in a camper. Oh, so pretty, Coconut. <gasps> so pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you say hello? Say hello. Hello. How about you? my journaling and get my daily journaling done because I made a pact with myself that it's a non-negotiable for me. I'm gonna get my journaling done, my breath work done, and read my devotional at least every single day, no matter how much of it I do. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. I'm gonna go to the grocery store and have fun doing it. All right, so I ended up going to the butcher shop and to the grocery store, and I spent about $150, which is good because I got a lot of beef and a lot of groceries that should be good for the next week or two. of that $150 budget on this big roll of ground beef. It's about 10 pounds, so I think I can get a lot of meals out of it. I've learned that I would rather go to the butcher shop and get my beef because it's less expensive 
and it's also less processed. That big roll of $85.15 was about $3.79 a pound. So at the grocery store, they're like $5, $6 a pound. So I think that's pretty good. I've been trying my best to find enjoyment in the little things. Today I decided that it was time to plan out my class, which this is a strength Tabata class, which is just 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off for each movement. The class totals around 45 minutes. I even got my vacuuming done, but our vacuum brush roller actually broke, so I have to use the little tiny hose attachment brush roller to get it done. I'm so mad because I spent $100 on that vacuum not even a year ago, and it's already broken. I'm sure I can fix the brush roller part though. But then it was time to take our skirting down, which is super exciting. I'm so surprised that this skirting that held on for dear life lasted as long as it did. With all this stress going on, I know that the end result will definitely be worth it. I know that we are just making an investment into our future in order to get this truck equipped to be able to move our home. This is the last piece that we need for our cross-country road trip. Everything else is worked out and fallen into place. So I am just praying and praying and praying that this is what fixes our issue and we are able to move forward gracefully. If anything, this situation has only brought me closer to God. It has only made me believe and have higher faith in what is going on because I don't have any other choice but to hold faith right now. Hold faith that we'll be able to leave on time. And even if God is answering our prayers in the way that we had imagined, he is still answering our prayers. That night that we were stuck at the gym, we thought we might have to get a tow truck in order to get us there. But even though we had to drive 15 miles an hour in limp mode all the way home and it took us an hour and a half, we still got home. Our prayers were still answered. They just weren't answered in the way that we thought they would be answered. I truly believe this is the timeline of our life that God wants us to experience. I truly, truly believe it. Otherwise, we would have not made it this far. So here is my dinner. It is cowboy's pie. So it's pretty much like shepherd's pie, except you just put barbecue sauce in it instead of like cream of mushroom soup. I also did not put any cheese on it, but if you wanted cheese on it, that would also be good. You could bake it like a casserole, but it's not much different loose like this. But it's definitely so good and so easy to make. You should definitely give it a try. It's even really healthy for you. So healthy, but so good. Mmm, just the way I like it. Now I thought it would be funny to show you guys what Zane and I do almost every single night, which is our nightly back cracks. He is my chiropractor. I am his. <laughs> Just kidding, he's not a chiropractor, but we pretend that we are. This is not medical advice. Do not do this if you... <laughs> no, don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. Well, then there's a green bean over here. The way I put my old pelvis into it. I thought that segment was so funny to watch because I'm just being so for real with you guys. Like, we do that every night. For tonight's protein shake, I am thinking vanilla protein powder with Oreo wafer things. It's gonna be like a cookies and cream type vibe. It's giving cookies and cream. All right, we finally got the truck back. Right after my class, we just went and picked up the truck. I had a really great class, by the way. There were eight people on a Tuesday, and usually Tuesdays can sometimes be a hit or miss, so to have eight people was kind of crazy. But it definitely brought the heat, and it was a good class. Now that we have a different means of tra transportation, I've gotta get this car cleaned up and ready to go. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna clean it out, take interior pictures. I'm feeling anxious, but I just need to rip this Band-Aid off, so. I'm just letting you know, in case this timeline seems confusing, um, I filmed this before we had to take the truck back in. When I say we've been taking that truck into the freaking mechanic, I mean we have been taking that thing in so many times. Like at this point, it's been in the shop more than we've driven it. But it's fine, it's fine. It's super reliable after we get this fixed. 
that's what we just keep telling ourselves and we know that because at this point we've put well over like $25,000 into this truck. But I did find a buyer for my car which I am so happy about. I feel so relieved. I just spent several hours cleaning out the car and the truck because I looked at the truck and I am not riding in a dirty truck. I am a princess. Princess no ride in dirty truck. So I cleaned the truck. It looks really nice now, at least as nice as I'm willing to get it today. And I also moved a lot of my cutesy little car things over to the truck. Alright, I was gonna take the time to make like healthy pita bread pizza, but after doing all that work on the truck, I decided it's frozen pizza night. So we're gonna have this, but I'm gonna scramble a bunch of beef on it so we get some protein. And then a side salad. I think that will be really good. The reason we are even able to afford our transmission rebuild in the truck is because we are actually taking all of our money out of our crypto investment and putting it into the truck. I am just grateful that we even have this source of money to fall back on. It's kind of like a savings account. Like I do feel really grateful that we haven't touched it until now. So we're going to get that money out in order to afford the transmission rebuild. And I'm just glad this is happening before we get on the road. It turned out looking really good. I am excited to try. And then a pesto Caesar salad kit. Love me a good pizza salad combo. Glad that I didn't have to cook anything too extreme tonight. So yay. Facing this transition is stressful. It does feel a little bit anxiety provoking. And I'm just having to embrace all of it. I am excited and I'm definitely more excited than I am anxious. I'm super grateful for the people that do show up every week and watch my videos. I genuinely do look forward to y'all's comments and I love seeing the people who take the time to comment every single week. I love taking the time to respond to you guys. You guys are so kind, like I couldn't ask for better supporters. I also made my first $30 on YouTube. I'm really happy about that. I've been working so hard to make good content and I feel like things are finally starting to fall into place Actually, they always have been falling into place. I personally love the content that I make and I'm glad that there's a niche of people who also enjoy this kind of content. It's definitely interesting and I feel like we're doing something super crazy. So I'm really excited, I'm really scared, but I'm ready for this big change in our lives. <laughs> I am ready because I feel stuck here. You know, I could be fine just staying here, but the mountains really do call my name. I really do find peace within nature and I feel like it will make my relationship better with my kitties and my little family that we have here with my boyfriend. I feel like I'll build a better relationship with myself just being myself with myself no external like judgments if that makes sense because sometimes like I wouldn't be myself because I think oh what if they're judging me but when I'm in a new spot all the time traveling it's like nobody knows me so I can be whoever I want to be kind of thing you know what I mean like I'm free to be myself there are no more constraints like I have time to make really good content. No freaking excuses when we leave. I just hope you guys are enjoying it and I'm really trying to keep it authentic, keep it real, like, <laughs> this is my life. I don't know what's gonna come from all of this YouTube stuff, but I'm really happy with where I'm at. I am satisfied with what I have received from doing YouTube and being in RV life. And I'm so excited to just keep going. Anyways. I'm gonna eat my pizza. It's probably cooled down enough now to try. Thanks for having this little talk with me. Life is just moving and grooving. We got that. Yeah. This beef on top of this frozen pizza, so easy, but so good. It gives it exactly what it needs to be filling. Hi friends. So, we've kind of been in stress mode all night because we just got the truck back from the shop and it's going into limp mode again. Besides, it, also, if you hear that sound in the background, that's just the dryer having rubber mats in it, so don't mind that sound. But yeah, we've been stressing about the truck going into limp mode, and we think it's a small electrical issue, but after spending so much money on the truck, we're hoping to fix the small issue. We're just reminding each other that everything's okay. We're holding faith. This is supposed to be pulling our whole home, so it's a huge concern. We already have our first three months booked and fully paid for. So, <laughs> this is the last piece to get us to the mountains, and it needs to be working. 
but it's a good thing that we have three weeks until we leave so i have faith that we can figure it out and if not we will be okay regardless we will be okay regardless but anyways thank you friend for sticking to the end and i'll see you next week Okay, I just wanted to add on to this video, so for the people still watching that obviously still care. Um, so we just took that truck in today to the mechanic, and the mechanic was saying that with the older trucks, you're taking a gamble with just fixing the little issues rather than digging into the whole transmission and rebuilding it. And he only has experience with older diesels, so we really trust this guy to make the truck stable and reliable for us to get across the country once we have all of this sorted out this truck will last us a lifetime we are never getting rid of this truck it's just been a huge stressor like every single morning i've woken up since it started going back into limp mode right after getting out of the shop again i've just had this pit in the bottom of my stomach like this pit of anxiety but driving the truck to the mechanic today i felt an overwhelming sense of like calmness in my body i know that even if we get the truck back a little later than when we plan to initially leave we still are going to make it to the mountain safely so no matter the anxiety i feel right now everything really is okay for the people who care everything really is okay 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 thank you friend for sticking till the true end and i'll see you next week